Hi, y'all. How y'all doing? Y'all doing okay? Well, I have had a day. When I tell y'all I've had a day, I have had a day. You know how you have one of those days where it's like one thing after another thing after another thing goes wrong? That was my day today. Three things happened. Now, when the first thing, <laughs> when the first thing happened, I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. And then the second thing happened. I'm like, if another thing happens, cause you can't believe it. <laughs> some, some days you just have such a horrible day. It's like, if another thing happens, and then y'all, the third thing happened. I, I was just like, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. But you know what? I got through it. But today was one of those days where it seemed like I had to fight for some peace. It seemed like if like I'm talking to you all now, I had to fight for some happiness. I had to fight to get through it and not to just let that day get the best of me. Today was one of those days where I had to have a good day. I said, at least I have a good day and do it on purpose. Today was one of those days for me. So, and I know that all of us have them. It's from time to time, we all have one of those days and we're like, oh, wow, today was the day. But you know, I was talking to my mother today and now she don't know any of, she don't know nothing that I, that I just mentioned. She, she do now, hi mom, <laughs> but I'm okay. But we didn't talk about any of those things, but I did tell her this and mom, I know you're going to remember this. I said, you know what, mama? I am so grateful for all of the struggles and hard times we went through when I was young. You know, uh, of course, I'm not crazy. I don't just want to suffer or want to go through bad times or struggle. But now that I'm older, I'm grateful for them. Because had it not been for those things and being able to get through those things one thing after another, I wouldn't be able to handle the things that I have, have to deal with today. I wouldn't be able to handle these things because in life, in the world that we live in, it's going to always, it's, it's not going to stop. It's going to be one thing after another. Sometimes you have periods of like hope, of calm. Oh, things seem like they, they, they're doing, I'm doing pretty good. And boom, something else hits you. So it's never going to stop. So those struggles made me who I am today. Those struggles turned me into a strong woman. They really did. They turned me into the woman that that's talking to you all now. The woman that has had endured a horrible, horrible, just many things in her own personal life with my husband, just with many things. I've endured them. And so, again, I'm grateful. One of the things that I gave, uh, I told my mother, and she got it in her house now, I, I said, you know, we should be grateful because I've seen this quote somewhere. Be grateful for the big things and the little things and everything in between. So everything in between can be all those, those struggles that I had. You know, I'm grateful for them. Again, not I'm not a lunatic. I just love bad things happen. No, but I'm better for them. But uh, I will say this. Sometimes being the strong woman uh, can be a lot to bear because sometimes we don't want to forget we're still women. I'm still a woman. So that means sometimes I still need to be vulnerable. That means sometimes I still need uh, to not have to always be so strong. Sometimes I want to be weak. Sometimes I don't want to deal with nothing. Sometimes I don't want to handle it. You know what I mean? Sometimes I want to be uh, the feminine one, the weaker vessel, you know? But uh, I'm okay. I'm okay. So uh, I'm not saying, I'm just, I'm just venting. You know, this is the end of the day. I don't know if I mentioned it, but now it's 9.56. This is the end of my day. And so I'm just venting and letting you all know what type of day I had and it's freezing outside it is freezing out there now today the temperatures went up to 40 but now it's freezing again you know what I think about though 
I think about today I was looking at the news and they were talking about the temperatures in Canada. Now I know that there are some people in Canada that watch my videos. So hi Canada, how y'all doing? I'm feeling for you right now. Because if we think it was cold, here, and it is cold, it's freezing cold. But guess what? In Canada, they said they are uh, uh, going through, they have temperatures now there that are negative 40 degrees. So 40 below zero, not two below zero, not six and seven, 40 below zero. The only thing I can say to the Canadians is try your best to stay warm and please be safe. Alrighty, and I also want to tell you that I had in one video told you all that uh, uh, at the end of the month I have some uh, outings that I wanted to take you all along with. Well, turns out it's going to, it, it's been uh, rescheduled for the beginning of February. So it'll be, I'm still going to take you all along with it. It'll be beginning of February. And y'all, I don't know if you all can, it's probably ain't reading on camera like this, but my clothes is getting, so this, you, you all can't tell it, but my clothes are getting so big on me because see, not only am I losing pounds but i'm also losing a lot of inches especially up top uh and my clothes looking all big and frumpy on me you know uh even a skirt and they some of these outfits you know how you you know you spend a, you spend a nice little penny on some of your outfits you really like them and it's like so i guess that's a good problem to have but at the same time it's a problem because I can't go out and just start buying clothes because I'm still on my weight loss journey. I still have so much weight to lose. But I did say this. Well, Lisa, maybe when you get out of the threes, because remember that was my next goal to get out of the threes. When I get out of the threes, then go buy you a few pieces. And then, because I don't want to just keep buying clothes. Cause I'm, they, I'm keep going, I'm keep going down and keep going down, I keep, uh, uh, I keep going down. So, you see, I'm making myself happy. You see what I mean? When I say do it on purpose, hey, you just gotta roll. You gotta, you gotta roll with it. Um, what else did I want to tell you all? Oh, guess what? This is something that makes me happy too. My daughter found the. Uh, Prima wheat that every time I go to the store, we went to a lot of stores and they have, you can see on, on the shelf where they have the name, banana, bananas and cream, cream, but it's gone. They can't keep them on the shelf. So, so many people like this cream of wheat. So she works out for, and the Deerbergs where she works had my cream of wheat and plenty of it. So she picked me up a box. Now, I love that cream of wheat. That's my favorite now, but I've always liked this too. So now I have plenty of cream of wheat. So when I want to get on the camera and eat some cream of wheat with you all in the morning, and it won't be tomorrow morning. I, no, it won't be tomorrow morning. But uh, I, I got that too. So I think that's going to be it for this video. Uh, I'm just looking over here because I'm about to take these glasses off and put this in here. But you all, thank you so much for watching. Please thumbs up this video. Don't let my face go away without thumbs and giving this liking this video, giving it a thumbs up. And share my videos. You know, I mentioned how my goal is to get the first goal. For YouTube is to make a hundred subscribers. So if you're looking at this video but you're not subscribed to my channel, subscribe to the channel please and become one of the village. We nice here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll treat you right. All right. All right, y'all. I'm going to bed. I'm tired. Again. Have a good day. And you better do it on purpose. Good night. <laughs>